Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to make your Blender render scream, or at least in my case, if you have a crappy computer, at least go a little bit faster than what it did before. Okay, so right now I'm using Blender 2.66a, which is the latest, at least right now. And um, first thing we're going to talk about is what you're using to render your images in, uh, in Blender. Are you using the Cycles Render or are you using the Blender Render Internal Engine? Um, if you are using the Blender Render Internal Engine, it's already optimized pretty much for the fastest you can get. I mean, there are some things you can do, but that's the great thing about the Blender Render Internal Engine is it is extremely fast. The downside is it's not as good as a uh, render as you would get out of the Cycles Render. And that's the whole reason for the Cycles Render engine is, is to get that quality. Um, so basically, we're going to be talking about the Cycles Render. Um, cycles, uh, when, when Cycles came out, because Cycles is, is more set to the quality of rendering, you know, there's a lot of a lot of complaining that was going on about, oh, it so, takes so long to render anything. And that's why I held off so long on going to Cycles is because when I, when I tried it, it's like, you know, it took so long. But there are things that you can do in order to speed up your renders. So the first thing that we want to talk about is the hardware. Um, like I said, my computer is crappy. Uh, and once I get upgraded one of these days, then I'll get better renders. So number one, Make sure you have an upgraded computer, of course, if you can. And then number two is your video card. So if we look at file, user preferences, and then in the system settings, look at this area here where the uh, compute device is. This is your video card setup. If it says just CPU and you can't select anything else, then that means that you probably don't have a card that is supported by Blender Cycles Render. Uh, what you want to get is an NVIDIA card that supports the CUDA technology. Uh, as you can see, mine is a GeForce GTX 650. Uh, not the greatest card in the world, but it's something that you know, I recently went out and got an NVIDIA card because I needed something that supported the Cycles render. And at least so far, you know, I, I don't have the quickest render times in the world because it's uh, you know kind of a low-end card. But... I am enjoying much quicker renders than I was getting with just my CPU. So that's the first thing. You have to get a, a GPU, a graphics card that supports the Cycles Blender render. And once you have that set there, uh, if you go to your render settings, you want to also make sure that you turn your device to this GPU compute device versus the CPU. And I think they did that just to give you the option uh, if you wanted to render with your CPU using the Blender internal engine. Okay, so that that is the main thing I think that you need to look at when you're talking about speeding up your rendering times within the Cycles Render. Um, next, we're gonna look at rendering the tiles. If we come down to, it, we're still in the um, render portion here. Come down here to Performance. If you open this tab, you'll see Tiles, and you can actually change these values here. I'm not sure what the default was. I think mine was 100 by 100. But if you're using the, um, the GPU render, you can change these to, um, like I found that 256 by 256 is probably the best thing that I can do on mine. And what, what the tiles are is that when you render something and you see those little boxes build your, your uh, render, those are the tiles. And you wouldn't think it matters that much, but actually it does help. And so when I rendered mine, this is what I got. This is a spaceship that I've been working on. This is the rear view. And this, this image is actually, if we go back up here and look, it's 1920 by 1280 at 100%. And when I rendered it at that, I was, it was at, and this is the other tip, by the way. This is a resolution size. Um, 1920 by 1280 rendered in just over seven minutes. When I changed this to seven, or 1280 by 720, then it rendered just over three minutes. And also, of course, if you're doing just like a preview or something, you can knock down the percentage of the render. And when I did that 50% and 
it rendered out at uh, just under a minute. So it really depends as far as the resolution on what you're trying to achieve with the render. So that's another tip. Um, the fourth thing is the number of samples. When you're doing cycle render, you have these samples. And mine's set at a thousand right now. It's not really high enough, but just to, you know, to do the uh, time testing, I set it at a thousand. If you don't say say if you have like um, I don't know five thousand or something, if you find that you're doing five thousand and then you bump it down to three thousand and it's giving giving you basically the same result and you can't really see a difference, then why you know why have it that high? So you can knock down the samples. Just just find that area where it works for the uh, the type of you know the quality of the render that you need. So that's another way to uh, to speed up your renders. Uh, the the last way that I'd like to talk about is if you go to your world settings, there's this ambient occlusion here, which I use quite a bit. Um, it, it helps, you know, define the shadows in your render and it looks really nice and everything. But again, if you're doing like a preview or something, or if it, it's not really needed in the render, then just turn it off. And that's pretty much it. I mean, those are some quick tips that you can uh, use in order to speed up your cycles render. I'm going to give you two links. So uh, the first one is a link to Blender Guru, Guru and Andrew, Andrew Price has a nice uh, article there on how to speed up your Blender renders. In fact, covers a lot of these and also in the comments, users have suggested some other, other things that you can do, which is really nice. Uh, the second link is a link to benchmarking with Blender as far as the graphic cards and your computer system. Now, of course, you know, your, your configuration of your, your computer and your graphics card, you can have all kinds of different configurations. So what I did is I looked at this, this forum and seen what the different configurations were, found something that was similar to mine, and just kind of compared the different graphics cards that people were using, and then went and got a graphics card that I could afford, basically, for my system. So it'll give you, at least it'll give you an idea of, what other people are using in the in the uh, render times that they're getting and give you an idea what kind of card you need if you want to go go get a different card okay so i hope you enjoyed this video on speeding up your render times please subscribe and comment below all that good stuff and thanks for watching talk to you later